Superhero group here. I'm Junior. This one is a little bit different from my page. It's a Joe Rogan clip. Uh, I'm a fan of his podcast. I uh, usually listen to him probably about a week behind just because I only listen to him when I'm driving somewhere or working out and I don't drive any places and I don't work out too much so <laughs> I'm usually pretty far behind. But this is Alex Jones and I keep getting this recommended on my page and I keep wanting to click on it. So I figured I might as well react to it. It's Alex Jones goes off on Eddie Bravo. Alex Jones goes off on Eddie Bravo. Uh, I always feel like there's tension in the room with Eddie Bravo. I don't feel like he likes Eddie Bravo much. Uh, I think Eddie is more of a, he's like a conspiracy theorist where Alex Jones, I don't think thinks of himself as one, even though he kind of is one. I think he thinks of himself as like a, I don't know, like a truth seeker. Like he, everything he says he believes is true where Eddie Bravo is more on the fence like, well, I don't know, man. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I feel like he thinks it is true, but there's just a big difference. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I listened to the last Alex Jones on it, on Joe Rogan. I don't remember how long ago that was, but it was a long time ago and Eddie Bravo was on it too and he was getting annoyed with him and I could just feel the tension in the room. So I guess we'll see, goes off on Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo kind of seems like a good guy to go off on. He doesn't seem like he takes things too harshly. I have my bulldog with me. Hey, calm down, calm down. He wants to play more than anything, and he won't just take a little nap. Take a little nap, bub. You're okay, you're okay. All right, it's eight minute clip. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens and play. So I'm gonna get to this next, and I, I respect you. Hey, I want you guys to yell at each other for three minutes while I go pee. I gotta pee too. Oh, he's leaving him? <laughs> Don't talk to yourself. Just hold, we'll do it in shifts. We'll do it in shifts. I'll go first. Okay. Anyways, Eddie, no, I'm, what I'm saying, saying is, you're bad questioning. I get it. No, you do get it. You know why? Because, you know... Um, I want this joke for no, you. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of Na course. Oh, NASA. <laughs> you, uh, it's funny. you are someone that I could talk to about the flat earth conspiracy and you believe in so many crazy things about the government you don't you don't uh you don't believe in flat earth but you can kind of understand where i'm coming from right yeah right? Issue, kinda, gps right? is real i know airline pilots that fly from yeah, earth's definitely california flat, guys. to uh you know, places I can like see how people can Australia, think that too, though. And they got another wing over to Hong Kong, believe, but and then they go to Monaco. You can fly anywhere in the world in the world for so many years. Flat has, you could go from east to west just like you could on a ball. You just don't understand what, uh, uh, like a, yeah, but there'd be drop off. Points. You could just go anywhere. Like if if you're okay. you know, on a flat Earth, you're on a flat you're Earth, flat you're earth you could travel anywhere. Give me two cities. Eddie, you I, point at two cities and you just go there. Because we don't so much, I get what you call. It's nothing to do with a ball. I'm not that rich. No, no, no. Listen, I have the money. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm not trying to convince you, Alex. My point is, my po it take, you gotta, you gotta find it on your fucking own. There's no way you're gonna be convinced. No, no one has ever been convinced. Listen, we're gonna debate this in a minute. They, they, they have to really find it within themselves and and do some deep. No, I understand. Deep what I'm telling you is, soul searching. What if I finance a research ship, large ship, and make a documentary? I can't go away for three months. I will pay for you three months. I'm, I'm not BSing. You know, because to me, having money is not a big deal, except we can do cool things with it. What yeah, else? Got to send Eddie up there. Because we're going to need I, 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 to go to the South Pole. We, we're going to need. We're going to need. Uh, are you guys going to the moon or in orbit? Yeah, I, I can tell just you right back. now, you're going to cruise. No, this is what I'm going to. This is what I'm going to. You can go. Alex, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, you raise the money for a trip <laughs> no, to South. No, don't raise the money. I got the money. Okay, you got the money. Listen, this is the deal. This is the deal. This is the deal. Go pee. Go pee, man. He's a big guy. If he wasn't a black belt, he's got to be a little nervous. Listen, I'm going to the plan. You're going to the plan. ice wall. He's the ambassador for Flat Earth. He's the ambassador. Yeah, you got to send Eddie. The guy that discovered Flat Earth, the big ice field. I donate to that GoFundMe. This is what we're going to do, Alex. Alex, this is what we're going to do. Can you give me 20 seconds? An entire crew that you're in command of. No, you are going to the edge of the Flat Earth. Totally, but it's not gonna be me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna designate somebody. Yeah. I'm too scared. So I'm yeah, gonna, but if it's not him, he's not gonna believe it. People have already this. done it. That's the whole yeah. point. No, no, no. We're gonna do this. Joe, I'm gonna send to honest, someone else. You're gonna find the edge of the world. Send yeah, Joe. Cats, cats are knocking things off. I'm gonna off. film the drop off with my iPhone. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> go pee, man. Go pee. Don't you have to go? We're gonna send someone else, Alex. Yeah, we're gonna just piss his pants. You know what? We're gonna do this. I don't want to be the one that goes. I don't want to be the one. 
the couch. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. It's in Brian Kelly. I came here and I proved there could be a lot of things. he's dead anyways. How did you prove that? Jamie pulled some shit up on Google. They admit it now. That's you too. They're normalizing it. No, the fuck. The governor. Listen to me. You really think. Do you really think. There's people out there campaigning for late term abortions. You think that shit's real? You the think that shit's real? Voted Monday to keep it legal. Who would do that? Who would do that? Who would, that? Who would campaign for that? They fucking did it. That is the craziest shit ever. We got them. They're fucking killing already more kids. So you're telling me it isn't real when they had a fucking vote in the goddamn fucking Senate? That's, That's a conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy theory. We're about to get it. Bullshit! They're killing already born babies. Stop fucking lying, God fucking dad. I'm getting pissed now. Don't get pissed. Go. No, I mean okay. you saw the dude. <laughs> it's going to be a fucking video. Alex, 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 Alex,
There's the show. Dang, it almost has 10 million views. <laughs> He's a popular man. Can't believe they fucking banned him on YouTube, though. That's crazy. With how many views he generates, how much money he generates. That's funny. That sucks for him, though, because I like seeing his clips. I always thought he was kind of funny. I never took what he was saying so seriously. He usually has, like, a point, but then he just... I mean, it's like, it's like a person saying they won the lottery and making it seem like they won 500 million when they just won like 2,000. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. He plays everything up so intensely that it gets you interested. And I guess it kind of gives the media a reason to want to hate the guy because he's saying some crazy things. I remember back in the day when he was saying like uh, Hillary Clinton's a witch and eating people and all this crazy stuff and... I mean, I don't know who would believe that, but I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. Because <laughs> like Joe says, some of the stuff he says, you do a quick search and you're like, oh, shit. This is real? <laughs> That's funny. And he definitely went off. What's this? Elon Musk thing? Him and Elon Musk have a debate? That'd be cool. Joe asks Alice, is that a head injury? That's funny. I wonder if he has. Flat Earth stuff's funny. Human-animal hybrids. Yeah, there's so many clips, man. Nazis made a deal with aliens. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's funny. This clip was funny. Alex Jones was going fucking nuts. He does not like... uh people disagreeing with him when he feels like it's already out there. That's funny. And Eddie Bravo. I don't really know if he really did agree with him, to be honest with you. He's kind of a strange guy. He's one of those people that if news says it, then it's not real. Oh, the news only says things because they have an agenda. And who knows? Maybe he's right, right? I don't know. I don't look into this stuff enough. I do know Earth isn't flat. I'm pretty confident with that one. <laughs> you okay? I do believe we went to the moon, pretty confident with that one. I do think a lot of the footage is fake, if not all of it, but it just doesn't seem like it's that hard to get there. Why would we lie about that? You know what I mean? It's not that hard to do. Uh, and if we really didn't do it, why would they be letting like billionaires like Elon Musk do things like that? You know what I mean? If they, we haven't done it, they would kind of be like, you know what, you gotta stop because you may see things we weren't prepared for because we've never been ourselves. So I don't know if I believe all that nonsense. I do think there's outer space and all that. Uh, interdimensional aliens, I don't know about that. But I have seen a UFO before, and it was right above our heads, me and my sister. It's maybe like 30 feet in the air, and it's probably about 100 feet, like a 100-foot circle. And it had glowing lights, but the lights didn't reflect. So it was like the lights were on the inside. It was like a nightlight. And when it took off, I mean, it was the craziest thing ever. It didn't just fly in the air. It literally jumped it like it jumped behind the neighbor's house. The craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. This giant ship looks like it's just leapfrogging behind the neighbor's house and was gone. And it made no sound. And this thing was huge. <laughs> it was huge. It probably fit inside of like a basketball court. Like, you know, a basketball court It's like this way. It would fit in it this way. So it'd be like the perfect circle. And it was pretty crazy. <laughs> she still remembers it this day, too. It was pitch black outside. It was probably like 8 o'clock at night. And it just froze above us. Like I said, like 30 feet above our heads. We had a two-story house, and it was maybe like five feet above our house just because it couldn't hover any lower. And it was just frozen there. It wasn't like moving, like it was just boom, right there. And when it took off, it just, yeah. Craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what the hell it was. Because if it wasn't actual alien beings and it's humans, that makes it even more creepy. What the hell would humans be doing watching two kids wrestle? We were fighting on our Pop Doughboy pool. <laughs> Still remember it. It's crazy. I can't picture the actual ship itself, though. I felt like it was a circular, but it could have been triangle. I just remember the windows, like the lights. They didn't pop out, I don't think. I think they went in. But it was crazy. <laughs> I still remember it. That's why when Alex Jones talks, I'm not too... I'm not going to shut him off. I'll listen to what he has to say just because a lot of people don't believe me when I say that. So, I think I owe it to people to at least try to believe them. Although I do think he kind of goes overboard a lot. 
but it's funny. It's funny. I love Joe Rogan, too. I love how he lets people go on. He doesn't try to make them feel dumb, <laughs> even though sometimes he probably should. But still, it's just funny. And it's fun. I wanted to see Eddie Bravo actually fight him. Would have been so funny. Alex Jones is so damn big. He's just a big dude. And that's how you know you know jujitsu and stuff, when you don't even get intimidated in the slightest. I mean, this big guy screaming his ass off, goes over and gets you in a headlock, and Eddie's still just, eh, didn't even care. <laughs> me, I'd be like, whoa, get your big paws off me, man. I'm going to crack you in the jaw. You do that again. I can't let you get that close. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. First thing I'm going to do after this is go watch the whole show. At least I think I am. Hopefully it's a long one. How long is it? Not seeing it anymore. <laughs> Man, so many of these clips seem so funny. Maybe I'd do more clips. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'll see you on the next one, though.